Psalm 51 is a very famous psalm, and the reason it's famous is not necessarily for a good reason. Uh, it's the context of the prophet Nathan challenging David. And it says that at the beginning, for the choir director, a psalm of David, regarding the time Nathan the prophet came to him after David, David had committed adultery with Bathsheba. And it's a heart cry, and that's what's really special about Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion. Blot out the stain of my sins, wash me clean from my guilt, purify me from my sin. For I recognise my rebellion, it haunts me day and night. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. And then he goes on in verse 12, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. And uh, he says this very special thing in verse 16, You do not desire a sacrifice or I would offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. Your sacrifice, The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O oh God. And so my prayer today is that we would come to God with uh, a contrite heart, a, a heart that's ready to recognize where we've gone wrong, a heart that's ready to um, face the facts of, of our own uh, frailty, our failure. And as we do that, uh, we would find mercy and grace and strength from him, that we would find the mercy and grace of God that we so often need, that cleansing. I pray today that you would experience that, that you would experience that cleansing power of, of what Jesus has done for you on the cross, that he brought forgiveness. And as you come to him, he can cleanse you from the worst of mistakes, the greatest of messes.